Disney has released the ninth episode of X-Men 97, which follows the X-Men team as they try to stop Magneto before it's too late. And I Thought Tolerance is Extinction Part 2 acted as an awesome penultimate episode to the season overall. So if you don't want to have what happens to be spoiled for you, I would suggest that you stop watching this video and go on to watch the episode instead. Because after Magneto declares war on humanity, he heads directly to the X-Mansion to recruit some of the X-Men to his cause. Which is a classic move by Magneto, but due to the tragedies that the team has had to face in the past few episodes, Magneto manages to successfully bring Rogue and Sunspot to his side. And while it is hard to see these characters turn their backs on the X-Men, you can't help but understand why they would feel so lost in the first place. Even Magneto gave an honest go at living in peace with humanity, but where did that get him? Plenty of mutants died under his watch, so it makes sense as to why he would want to seek retaliation. He's angry, he's hurt, he's sad. He tried to reform, he tried to be a better person, he tried to listen to his friend Charles, but Charles never seems to listen to him even after he proved his willingness to change. And that brings us to the professor. As much as we view him as an idealistic figure, or how much the X-Men look up to him as a father and a mentor, he's still a person. He has flaws, he makes mistakes, and I love how X-Men 97 isn't afraid to show us that side of him. It's just unfortunate that everyone seems to be coming to that realization at the same time. So the X-Men are divided just when the world needs them the most, but that doesn't prevent them from trying to stop Bastion and his legion of Prime Sentinels for good. So the X-Men suit up into their classic costumes, which do look fantastic, and they end up making a dig at their live-action counterparts, which I do personally love, since the leather outfits which looked cool back in the early 2000s look pretty dated now. And they're nowhere near as cool or as personal as their animated counterparts. So the X-Men head out for one final fight, only they just end up fighting each other instead. Cable becomes controlled by Mr. Sinister and starts fighting with his own mother Jean. Cyclops shoots an optic blast at the Professor to give the other X-Men members more time at stopping Bastion. Rogue is fighting with Wolverine to prevent him from killing Magneto. Sunspot and Jubilee are fighting, everyone is basically fighting, and everything breaks out into complete chaos. I wasn't expecting this episode to play out like a mini civil war, but I certainly was entertained by everything that was unfolding. I especially enjoyed getting to see Mr. Sinister fight, since I've never really gotten to see him engage in a battle before. So I thought it was cool to finally see his powers and how he utilizes the shadows to his own advantage. But the action wasn't just exciting, it was also actually quite heartbreaking. Because this show has done an excellent job of getting me to care about all of these characters, so I didn't want to see anyone getting hurt, especially by one of their own loved ones. But everything culminates in a brief fight between Wolverine and Magneto. Wolverine stabs the Master of Magnetism from behind, and in response, Magneto begins to rip the adamantium right out of Wolverine's body. The scene was so fucking intense that I actually don't know if Wolverine or Magneto made it out alive. 
because before you can see the aftermath of that fight, the screen cuts to black and the episode is over. So, Tolerance's Extinction Part 2 acts as an action-packed and entertaining episode that explores the widening rift between Magneto and the Professor, along with the fractured X-Men characters themselves. I have no idea how all of this drama is going to get undone, if at all, so the stakes are extraordinarily high leading into the season 1 finale. But the pieces are all in place for a truly exciting finale, so I cannot wait to see the last episode of X-Men 97 when it gets released on Wednesday.